Congratulations to NSIL and ISRO and OneWeb for the successful launch of LVM3, M3, OneWeb India 2 mission. As we know today, the first uh, 16 satellites of the series are already placed in the right orbit. And uh, now it has gone in the far south of the Earth. And uh, we will be getting confirmation of the remaining spacecraft separation soon once the onboard storage data is uh, acquired by our Indian ground stations. Till now, uh, based on the observations, the vehicle has done extremely well. It went up to the right orbit and placed spacecraft uh, at the right orbit and also with very minimal disturbances to it. So I am very happy today for the consecutive launch success of GSLA Mar 3, that is LVM3. And I want to specifically thank NSIL uh, for bringing this uh, opportunity to us and also for the confidence that OneWeb India team has on ISRO for building this rocket for them for this commercial launch. Uh, I also want to thank ISRO for the wonderful work that they have done to make this rocket very reliable and rugged, once again demonstrating the capability of the rocket for placing large heavy payloads into the right orbit uh, without any glitch and we look forward for greater engagement with our commercial partners for making this rocket one of the best in this class. So specifically, I want to thank the entire ISRO family, the GSLA Mar 3 project team, for making this uh, historic event happen today. So let me also introduce uh, the chairman and managing director of NSIL, Sri Radhakrishnan, and also the mission director of uh, the LVM3, this mission, Mr. Mohana Kumar. So over to Radhakrishnan. Good morning, and uh, I'll share the views of uh, Chairman ISRO Secretary Department of Space uh, in congratulating the entire uh, team ISRO for giving us this wonderful, wonderful mission, what we have seen. As you all know, I think uh, having a repeat performance of any particular launcher, is, it's not an easy thing to do. And uh, what we had demonstrated today using the GSLE Mar 3 for the commercial customer, it is extremely momentous uh, day for us. The kind of maneuvers, one special thing uh, what we see in this particular mission is the cryogenic stage being used for doing such a complex maneuver uh, to meet the requirements of OneWeb in deploying 36 satellites. This is extremely challenging stuff that has been done and repeated here once again in the second mission. Now, on behalf of New Space India Limited and um, ISRO, we would like to compliment our uh, customer, esteemed customer who had uh, given a lot of faith and belief in us and believing in our capabilities. And I would say we are doubly happy that we are part of such big journey the OneWeb has gone through in the last three years. By deploying these particular satellites, I know you are going, your services are going to go global. And uh, we are delighted that we are a small contribution to your uh, such a long journey that you have done over several years. I would like to uh, take this opportunity to reassure OneWeb and the entire team here uh, that uh, NSL would be happy to engage in any future endeavors that would like in addition to the launch solution that we will continue to provide to your team. Thank you very much and thank you entire ISRO team for this moment. Thank you, sir. Respected Chairman ISRO, Secretary Department of Space, uh, dignitaries, viewers, very good morning to you all. Once again, the launch vehicle LVM3 has shown its might and uh, ruggedness in uh, taking heaviest payload from our soil to the precise orbit which is required by the satellite. The orbital parameters are achieved and the 36 satellites are being uh, deployed in, uh, in a sequential manner in nine steps of four numbers each and uh, 16 satellites are already now we have uh, got the data now once the vehicle is coming to the visibility range remaining satellites all uh, separations also will be reported i take this opportunity to thank the entire team isro especially from the launch vehicle senders the vssc lpsc iprc istrac and sbsc shar for the uh, for the wonderful uh, successful mission and all the deliverables from all the SDAs were, have performed perfectly well uh, and its intended functions were happened. And this time, we have done the assembly of the vehicle in the 
newly built second launch uh, second vehicle assembly building wherein from from the nozzle trial actuation through the s200 stacking to the entire vehicle integration was carried out under one roof with utmost uh, care and uh, uh, best standards of safety we uh, and the vehicle was moved to the launch pad also through a newly built uh, track every activities were smooth and safe and uh, we could achieve the uh, uh, mission in a wonderful manner i take this opportunity to thank all the industrial partners of isro who are supplying the products the uninterrupted supply of uh, hardware and resources are key players to have the mission in the uh, required scheduled times and i thank all the industrial partners across india who are partners to this success i thank all the mission executives uh, who have actively contributed towards this mission and uh, uh, my uh, best wishes to the one web team for uh, the continued uh, successful operations of the satellite on board and my uh, thanks are due to the entire uh, lvm3 core vehicle uh, core project team uh, for the uh, untiring efforts uh, of 72 days of uh, launch campaign sir this time the uh, record time we could complete the launch campaign in 72 days the team uh, team lvm3 which was uh, trained and brought up by none other than our beloved chairman uh, i take this opportunity to thank chairman on behalf of the entire project for being with us uh, as a beloved patron and sir with your timely uh, guidance and learned opinions made uh, our decision making process very fast which enabled us to complete the uh, mission in uh, the record time of 72 days the key success uh, uh, is the robust review mechanism existing in isro the we have undergone all the reviews the drt forums which are the primary uh, agency to clear all the subsystems went into the mission and uh, frr followed by mrr and launch authorization board i take this opportunity to thank all the chairman and members of all review forums for uh, the mentoring and guidance and finally i thank god almighty for all the blessings in the form of the glorious success uh, which was the purpose of the 72 days of penance of all of us uh, called the launch campaign thank you jai hind thank you once again uh, radhakrishnan and mohan kumar for that uh, feedback and uh, let me take this opportunity to thank once again the entire isro community uh, for their uh, work towards making this rocket one of the best in this class and uh, we are getting ready for the next launch campaign soon uh, with the launch uh, of the gsl mar 3 uh, but before that we are also getting ready for the launch of the pslv which is currently going on in april we will have the launch of again a commercial launch of pslv and um, we are also commencing the campaign for the gsli mark 2 as well so uh, sdsc shar is going to be bus with a uh, lot of work for the subsequent launch missions which will be duly announced uh, at this time let me take this opportunity to thank uh, our honorable prime minister as well as the government for supporting us in making this launch vehicle making available for commercial launches uh, because it was at a very short notice such an opportunity came to us and we have to we have to get ready with our required approvals and uh, processes which were very necessary and let me thank uh, uh, the the approvals that are given to us for enabling this mission to take place and it actually increased the confidence on us on this rocket gsl mark 3 for taking up the uh, gaganyaan which is going to be flying on this rocket as well so let me give you an additional information this rocket is also having the s200 motors which are designed with an increased margins and features which are suited for the gaganyaan configuration so we are happy that it performed very well in this mission there were many more improvements in this rocket which are you know aimed towards making it human rated uh, in the other stages and uh, systems as well so i'm very happy to see the the progress incrementally happening moving towards the gaganyaan mission as well so at this moment let us uh, retire and then we'll wait for the remaining news about the 
success of the separation of the remaining 18, 16 satellites and that will be dis, uh, informed to you through media as well as social media as well as our channels. So thank you then. Uh, till then, goodbye uh, from SDSC Shar Sri Thank you. Thank you.